Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another video. So, for I would, oh my god, I keep eating my hair. Um, for I would intro the video back in my kitchen, this spot has just become a little bit of like a intro spot for me now. It's just so easy just to sit here, put the camera on top of the toaster, you know the drill. Um, but anyway, as you guys can see from the title, today's video is actually a little bit of a random and spontaneous one. I didn't actually plan on filming this, hence the state of me that you'll see in this video. Um, I I literally decided last Sunday to all of a sudden just make a start of my wardrobe and start decluttering, organizing it and just getting it in a better place because honestly my wardrobe for a long time now has just been a bit of a bane of my life. I know that sounds so dramatic but as you guys know with fashion being quite a big part of my job I tend to build up quite a lot of clothes, have a lot of clothes and then it sometimes can get a bit overwhelming and um, so yeah every now and then I just think it's so good to have a bit of a wardrobe detox refresh clear bits out take them to the charity shop or sell them and make a bit of money whatever you want to do um, but I just think it's really good for the soul and also it just gives you like such a clear reminder doesn't it when you can go into your wardrobe and see everything so much easier I feel like it just makes dressing day to day just again like I said just so much easier and I feel like that's something I've been struggling with even though I have all of these clothes I look in my wardrobe and because there's so much on the rails and stuff it kind of overwhelms me so yeah I really just wanted to go through and organize today so that is what you're going to see in this video I know you guys love an organization and declutter so I hope you appreciate this uh, but anyway before we get into the video today today's video has actually been so kindly sponsored by Karma now if you guys don't know who Karma are or aren't familiar with them Karma is basically a all-in-one shopping assistant that automatically helps you save money time and shop smart um, so I'll get into a little bit more of that in a minute but before I do uh, they've actually sent me over a little Easter gift which is so sweet of them and I just wanted to unbox it and share this with you because Karma are actually giving you guys a chance to win one of these as well so all you need to do is go over to their Insta I will leave their handle on screen and in the description box go and follow them and then over there there'll be more details on how you could win one of these yourself i've not actually opened this yet but i've heard there's some amazing things in so let's unbox this together um so first of all we've got gorgeous packaging packaging is actually all environmentally friendly like look how cute these little easter eggs are oh my god how smooth is this you get four eggs inside and in each egg there is a little present so oh my god let me just show you these first of all like you could definitely reuse these. Do you know for like Easter decor around your house? You guys know I'm just obsessed with like Easter decor and things like that. But yeah, these would be so cute to like reuse as well. Okay, so let's open egg number one. So, oh my goodness. Egg number one, we have some Chanel products. Oh my God, Chanel. Uh, so what do we have here? We have, let me just take this little thing off so I can see what it is. Oh, it's a smoothing and firming cream. Gentle on the skin, apply day and night to face and neck. Oh my God, I've heard Chanel like skincare stuff is so good. So first up, we have this little Chanel lift cream. And then I believe this is a lipstick. How gorgeous is that red? Now, I'm not gonna lie, I don't tend to wear a lot of red for day to day, but I think on a night time with like an all white outfit, that would be stunning. And the packaging, obviously it's Chanel. That is so pretty. Let's go for this one next. Oh my God. Jo Malone. So the next egg we have two Jo Malone products. We have a basil and neroli cologne. I'm going to say that's right. And then velvet rose and nude. Oh, do you know what? I've never actually smelt this. And so many people rave about this. Oh my God, that smells so good. <coughs> I think that's going to make me sneeze. <coughs> I think it normally does. How stunning. Two Jo Malone products. They're really nice for like handbag size as well. Okay, moving on to the next egg. Oh my goodness, guys, we have Ray-Ban. Now, I'm not sure what this is going to be because look at the size of that. But I'm assuming it's sunglasses with the little, like, cloth. And we've got this gorgeous Ray-Ban pouch. Ray-Ban, Ray-Ban pouch. Um, oh my God, we've got foldable sunglasses. How snazzy is that? Oh, wow. Let me try these on. Oh my God, I think these could be my new favourite sunglasses. Do you know what? I've been really into this more, like square fashion easter shape at the moment i do have a black pair that i absolutely love these have got kind of like a tortoise shell rim on them they are so stunning and the fact that they fold up let me try and do that again the fact that they fold up and are so compact like how cool are those just to like pop in your bag just say if you've got like a really little bag and you just want to fold your sunglasses up they are so adorable i love them and then in the last easter egg oh what is this so we've got long champ oh it's a little bag 
bag. It's like a shopper bag, I'm going to say. So it's netted here. It's got a gorgeous handle on. And it also has a crossbody thing. Oh my God, this could be so cute. Again, summer outfits I'm feeling. Little white dress and sandals. Just put your phone in there. Maybe a lipstick. Oh, I love that. That's so pretty. Anyway, guys, that is what Karma have sent me over as a little Easter gift. Like I said, you can win one of these yourself. So definitely go over to their Instagram and check out the details on that. Before I do get onto the video, I just wanted to briefly talk a little bit about Karma because obviously with Easter around the corner, there are loads of sales and savings to be made that I don't want you guys to miss out on. So if you are planning a little bit of shopping over the Easter weekend um, or just upcoming in the next few weeks. I honestly couldn't recommend having Karma downloaded on your phone or on your desktop so much because genuinely, if you're someone like me that sometimes just goes on websites, places an order and just forgets about looking for discount codes, Karma honestly automatically just sort all that out for you. So like I said, you can download it on phone or if you'd like to shop more on desktop, um, you can go on Karma on desktop. And one of the things that I really recommend you do if you use a desktop version is to download the Chrome extension. This honestly, is just so genius guys basically when you go to shop on websites what karma does is it actually scans the web automatically for discount code so when you then get to your checkout if there are any coupon codes on that site that are valid karma will pop up and let you know and automatically apply them to your checkout so you're not going to miss out on any savings another feature i like about karma as well is that you can actually like organize and plan your shopping so let's say you've got a trip coming up on holiday and you want to make a head start on your holiday shopping but obviously you don't want to buy it all in one go what you can do is save your items to karma so it's all in one place you're not going to miss out on them and also if there is like a price drop or the item's gone out of stock and then it recomes back in stock karma actually notifies you so that is so so handy and another money saving thing as well guys is that you can actually earn cash back on purchases so again if you just quickly click on karma cash it will then come up with all the websites that you can get cash back on click the selected website you want to get cash on and then it will direct you tell you um, like to click the button to get cash redirect you to the website and then obviously your cash back will be activated so anyway guys that is karma very simple if you are a shopaholic like myself and love to save yourself some pennies then you need to get it i can't stress enough i will leave the link in the description box so you can sign up to karma um but trust me it will save you so much money and just help you shop so much smarter um so yeah i'll leave all the details and like i say i'll leave the details as well if you want to enter the competition to win the little easter gift that they are doing too um, but anyway without further ado let's just scoot on and get on to the video okay so it wasn't actually this bad before so please don't think it i did actually leave it like this it there wasn't anything on the floor it's because i've actually just started this video in the midst of everything so it was basically just two big baskets full of crap like clothes and whatever and i've just started to like pull it out and i've just started to pull things out of there and i've just made a big mess on the floor so yeah the floor oh hello <laughs> he's heard me come in the room and obviously that's his little playpen out there and he wants to go outside he's desperate but god it's so cold i really don't want to let him out today but i feel so bad so i will probably let him out in a minute look at him he's so cute so yeah but anyway sorry we've got a guest now um but yeah it was a clean floor <laughs> minus like bits down there that's filthy and yeah i just had two big baskets so what i've just started doing i mean where do you start with this? I am one of them people as well, but I'll admit, like, I start one place and I'll move to something else. Like, I get bored on the same thing. But I know this is a bit of a random place to start, but I just thought it was kind of like the easiest place. So I'm just starting with the shoes. So I'm going to go from, I mean, look, I've started in the middle as well, but that's just because of, like, short girl problems. It was just the easiest one to reach. Uh, so I'm just going to go each shelf and you can probably see the dust. Can you see this? Like it could just get so dusty and I really need to get to the back of them as well. Oh gosh, there's my Mr. Sheen gone. This is really good, by the way, this um, multi-surface stuff. I really like it. It smells fresh. So I'm just going to use that on each shelf, take all the shoes out. Whilst I'm here with the shoes as well, I'm also just going to have like a look at them and think, do I wear them anymore? Do I not? Because I feel like there's just a lot of shoes that I don't even wear and it's just... Yeah, I don't need them here, do I? So I'm going to do that first. Then I'm probably going to go to bags because I feel like that's another easy section. So I feel like you get your easy sections done, you start to feel like, oh, I'm there with it. This section, to be fair, I don't think this is going to be so bad. So here at the moment, I have blazers. Um, my mum was helping me do my wardrobe the other day. So I feel like she's shoved like a few random things in. So I'm just going to go through them all. Again, kind of like say, what have I wore? Like, lately what have I not what don't I need and then maybe get rid of a few condense it down try and color coordinate it and then here normally um are all my boots 
don't go in there. So if I get rid of some, maybe I can put them there and have that just clear and neat. And then here, again, like, look at this. Like, look at how much dust these collect. I really don't recommend having an open wardrobe, guys. Um, I'm obviously going to take this with me eventually when I move. And I said to Mitchell, I feel like what we'll do is... Because they're from Ikea, I'm pretty sure you can buy the doors to go on them. Um, so I will probably get some doors on them because they're just not practical for dust and stuff. Um, obviously, just shoved all the shoes in there. But this is where like all my hair appliances and stuff go. So I'm just going to like neaten that up a little bit. And then I, I don't really know what's in the bottom one. And then, yeah, we're just going to have to go around and around and around and sort everywhere out. I have, like, socks and stuff in there, which that's what I was just sorting out because I've got so many odd ones. Random few coats there. This is, like, jumpers, tracksuits, and, again, just randomness. I'm feeling like, do I switch my wardrobe over to spring? So, up there, I actually have a big bag of, like, spring summer clothing. But then with the weather and, like, how things change in England, you just never know when to actually do the switch to a spring summer wardrobe. So yeah, I've got all the, oh, I've just got everything to sort out basically. And then when you first come into my room as well, I actually ended up buying one of these because I needed somewhere to store like hair bits and bobs. But again, as you can see, like it's just not the most presentable of things. Like that skincare in there, but then you've got a random hairbrush. Like I want this neat and uniform so I can be like, ooh, look at all my skincare. Do you know what I mean? And then that's just like random makeup chucked in there. And I, I just don't even know. Anyway, let's get on a time lapse. Let's start here and tackle them two first because then we can tick that off the list. I'm going to make a fresh cup of tea as well because that is what you need to do. When you're tackling this, it's going to be a multiple cup of tea day. Some tunes blasting in the background. We can do this, guys. This is your sign to clean your wardrobe or just do some cleaning in general or some organisation. We've got this. little update um i've ended up just taking off these two shelves i'm not sure if i could have done something a little bit more like if i moved do you know how you have these to put the shelves on uh, but obviously i'm not very handy so i've just took the two shelves off i will obviously put them somewhere like the shed um uh, but i just needed space for like my long boots and also like my chelsea boots because they normally live here and it just looks so congested just so messy and i just Oh, hello, boo. Have you come in as well now? Um, so, yeah, it just didn't look tidy. So I've moved them there, which I do think looks better. It might have been better to put them on the bottom. But then, like, I'm not going to be reaching for them soon. So that's why I just thought they can go on the top. And then, like, all my shoes that I need to reach can go here. Sorry if you can hear my phone. Um, but, yeah, I think this looks a lot tidier. I've just left some gaps because I need to go and get some shoes from my car and stuff that I'm going to put there. Um, but, yeah, all clean. So I'm happy with this section. This section I'm just going to go through and sort out all my blazers and just kind of look what I'm wearing, what I'm not. And then again, put them aside for like the charity shop or whatever. And then here, 
then obviously that is just another ball game like oh that's just going to be a nightmare cleaning all of that um i think i'm going to move on to bags though now because that should be pretty easy i need to go through again and just look at what i'm using what i'm not because there's literally just no point in having all of these bags if i'm not using them do you know what i mean like there's so many there so yeah i'm going to go through that now Watch the corn grow in the fields I don't know what's on your mind But I know that it's something about you and me Okay, so my camera actually died So I've just had to wait for it to recharge So I did do a little bit off camera So as you can see, my shoe section is done Bag section, I went ahead and just tidied this up. So I feel like this is quite a good setup. It just allows me to see everything really easy. Like before I just would put like one here just for kind of show. But this way I can just like see all the bags I've got. Um, so as you can see here, we've got like over the shoulder ones. These are mainly from Zara, I think. Zara, 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 Zara. That's from PLT. This one is, I think, from Boohoo. And then we've got like all my little mini bags here. Again, these kind of range. I think they're mostly from PLT, to be honest with you. Uh, I think that one's Zara, but yeah, these are like little handle bags. Got just some more like plain black bags every day there. This is a little bit of a mess, but I can't really like fold that in that tidy. Um, I might straighten that up in a minute because it is actually bugging me. But yeah, these are more kind of like, as you can see, like straw and like beachy summer bags. And then, yeah, I am going to tidy that, guys. As I'm looking at it more on camera, it's annoying me. And then I've got like big tote canvas bags, sort of like weekend bag things up there. Then obviously as you can see that is all of these shawls and i've just actually moved on to this section now oh sorry i didn't show you here so under here i've just got a couple of hats and then we just have like bras um these weren't too bad to be honest with you underwear um with my underwear i just put like all black and nude thongs there and then just like all different ones there and then like this is going to be my slipper sock drawer ignore that some look a bit like disgusting but yeah they're just slipper socks um and yeah, we're on to this part now. So for this, I've just got rid of all of my like faux leather jackets, cardigans, things like that, that I don't know, I just want it to be one thing. <laughs> Does that make sense? I just want it to be all blazers. Because I feel like when you've got like longer things and then you've got like faux leather jackets and big coat shoved in there, it just doesn't look like uniformed and neat. So yeah, I really just wanted it like uniformed and neat. I'm just going to like alter the colour order just to make sure it is all like to the eye. Why, why is that there? Is that why? Yeah, so for example, that, that needs moving. Um, so yeah, I'm going to sort all that out and then we'll move on. I'll stay here for as long as I can Through the storms and through the calm When you smile at me, I slowly begin To realise that you are the one else ever start a wardrobe clear out and think why did I start this because I'm honestly feeling like this now um so I feel like we can tick these two off all done good happy organized 
Here is all organised as well, to be honest, I just need to do another clean of that. Um, so what I've done is I've laid out all of my jewellery in here, um, sunglasses, watches, things like that. And then in here, before it was belts, and again, I'll be very honest, I don't ever wear belts. So it's just like a waste of space, waste of things in my wardrobe that I don't even wear. So I've just got rid, and I've just like put all of my, um, what are these, like, the things that go on the air app and things that go on my um foxy box curler too so just put them there because then that's took a like a drawer up in here and then in this drawer i've just done all of my curlers and straighteners things like that just put a few i mean does anyone else do this they buy things and always lose the tops i'm so bad for that but yeah just put a few hair products in there just so i can grab like when i sit in the mirror and do my hair it's just easy um just a few brushes and I'm going to start putting in like all my clips and um, hair bubbles and everything as and when I find them because you know what it's like and then in the bottom drawer there's nothing I need to try and scrub that foundation up with something else um, but yeah that's an empty drawer so far so if I'm working my way around this is like a makeup storage bit um, I kind of need to go through all of that to be honest with you and chuck things away I've put like all my faux leather jackets just there for now because I don't really know where to put them yet um, and I feel like once this is all organised it'll be alright there like that'll be okay in here I have just again a load of drawers right we just have makeup palettes in guys I don't use these like back in the day you know like five six seven years well, no, maybe like eight years ago I used to love playing around with makeup doing loads of like wacky eye things and everything in the time of like beauty gurus on YouTube but now I don't touch the stuff so I just don't really know what to do with that um so yeah that needs sorting as well really because to be fair I could probably like put all of that makeup in here so then I haven't got this little trolley so yeah that's a little bit of a stress and then in this side of the wardrobe I mean up there that's a hello fresh box but that's got kind of like um autumn decor in just because I needed somewhere to put autumn decor and also that suitcase is broken and I've put autumn decor in there sorry my camera keeps going in and out of focus which is so annoying this just needs a tidy but it is going to be like coats, trenches and all that kind of stuff but I'm going to try and co colour coordinate it and condense it down a bit I do have this exact same wardrobe in my sorry the doorbell went um, but yes I do have the same wardrobe in my bedroom which currently honestly I can't even tell you the state of it I'm not even going to go in and show you it at the moment so I'm thinking if I can put like half coats in there half coats in here that's a good move and um, I have just emptied all the coats out of here as well because this is the thing now like we are going into spring so I don't really want like big fluffy thick coats here because it's not going to be something I'm going to and grabbing so yeah I just kind of like want them out of the way um, and then this this is just like tracksuits and randomness. So I'm just trying to like work out how I'm going to organise all of these. Again, we've got like shirts here, tops, random stuff, jeans and trousers there, which is quite self-explanatory. And then in these drawers, I think the bottom two are like active wear sets and then they're just tracksuits. Oh my God, look, look at it all, honestly. Does this not just stress you out? Because it does me. But I'm going to feel so much better after I've done it because like this is just clutter this is just mess like half this stuff I don't even use or need uh but this is what's stressing me out at the moment because I've like put everything into here so it's some like stuff that is for the bin some stuff that I'll probably drop to my mum just for the ebay but I don't want to like overload it with stuff so I'm just going to take a load to like the charity shop just like I've got so many like bags and shoes that are in real good nick so I just think I don't want to I've never chucked them away I've never put things in landfill like I always give charity or um do you like how you have them, what are they like, banks as well, like near your Sainsbury's and Asda and stuff where you can just put them in. So yeah, I need to see where I can put all this stuff. But yeah, I don't even want to show you the state of there because I've literally dragged out all the stuff from that wardrobe and just left it in the middle there right now. So um, yeah, let's get back. Let's get back. Where are we going to go next? We need to just keep calm, keep going. I feel like... Oh, I don't know. This is so hard, guys. Right, I'm going to assess the situation and just get back to it. I once felt I'm done with the defense. Throw back and climb over your fence. Hide to show, show you that I was a man. Shrugging your shoulders, I'm closed off That's what I told ya Soon enough, everything started to change 
There's no going back, no going back There's no going back to your own life Not living in the past, we're over there I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying high Remember the colors, they were wrong It was way more than a dream We climbed up, yeah, over the hillside So right, we stood there all wide-eyed You and I, floating on air in my mind Okay guys, so I just thought I'd do another update um, Because I just stopped filming for a bit Just to like, clear the floor I didn't want to just put you on a time lapse like an hour of me clearing the floor And Joe's like all oh, your little bits that you've just on So it's about clear We're nearly there, obviously it needs a hoover And a wash and everything like that Um, So I've got these baskets that live in my Kind of like office study Which is now not an office study And I am actually going to get rid of the black unit in there Just because I don't need it, I don't use it And I had these baskets on there So I think I'm going to put them baskets at the bottom I need to think what I'm going to do with these two here. I just need to kind of like rearrange this and sort this like middle thing that just sits. I just like this for a counter. I like it for like a little, like I probably put it that way. It's like a little middle counter to put your perfumes and stuff on. So yeah, I want to kind of like organise that. So this side of the room is obviously still yet to be organised. But I have got rid of like all the just coats and... Um, all of the clothes that was just in the way and like I say everything that was on the floor So I feel like it will be easier to crack on tomorrow now to kind of just go through it all Just quickly kind of organise it and just obviously make sure You know certain things go with certain things Like this section is just going to be merely like spring bits So like dresses, kind of like daytime things And then here I'm going to allocate more for kind of like dressy things And then here will just be like shirts, tops I think So yeah, I mean, I've got room up there just to shove things. So I've like shoved things behind them little dior bags. Oh, why does it keep going out of focus? I swear this camera is so annoying. But yeah, I just feel like the little dior bags are just really good to put on the front so you can like hide all the stuff behind it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to call it a day for now. I feel like this kind of thing, guys, is definitely a, a two or three day job. I just, I just need to go to my mum's now and just have a break because... It's a Saturday after all and um, I feel like we've done good progress, this half is completely done. So tomorrow we just have this half, obviously we need to clean everywhere and then really I do want to um, tackle all the beauty bits in here and all the makeup and stuff and maybe even inside the cupboard but um, yeah anyway right I'll check in with you tomorrow. There's no going back, no going back, there's no going back to your own life, no living in the past. I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying heights Okay, quick update. Um, I need to buy some of them things I've just shoved in there. I just shoved them in there temporarily, but I will get around to taking them back out and ironing. I feel like this is all okay. Like, it's not the neatest, but... Do you know what? I feel like sometimes if you set yourself up to, with that, not neat at all, that's really buggy, man. Sometimes when you make things really neat, it like sets the bar and you never get it that neat again. It's just not realistic. As long as they're like 
nicely folded. Actually, I am going to refold them. Looking at it is really bugging me. One second. Okay, that's going to have to do because it's annoying me. Um, but yeah, anyway, I've just got like a few tracksuits in there. To be fair, having a glass thing like that for tracksuits is not the most best idea. Like, I feel like things like that you want on show like to look good, but it just ain't happening. So that's that. Um, I've tied it up there. I just need to dust on that bottom ledge because that's thick of dust. Um, but yeah, they're pretty much all alright, I think. I mean, the hangers aren't all like matchy which kind of annoys me because they don't sit like properly so every time i put my hand in the frame it like unfocuses so yeah that's that and then that i've kind of like tried to do it in color order so um i mean i know this bit isn't but these are all shirts you see so i've kind of like left shirts here and then here are just like miscellaneous tops so you've got like t-shirts crop tops and stuff so we've gone from like black white to kind of um then a few colors maybe just move that like that so yeah i feel like that is a lot more organized even if it doesn't look it and then we just have a few like go out your things there and i've shoved quite a few hangers um my steam is there as well i need to put that probably away so anyway wardrobe is pretty much organized i've removed so much stuff from it so i decided in the end not to do the beauty bits because i just feel like that's a whole other video if i'm very honest so time consuming and um this has already took me like two days which i know sounds a lot but really when you are getting all of your stuff out of your wardrobe organizing it is such a big job and i feel like we all under anticipate it sometimes so anyway it is smelling so much fresher it's looking so much more organized now i just thought i'd show you the finished kind of result of my wardrobe room so just give you a little overview so i've put bags up there just to hide anything behind looks nice and neat then we've got blazers here which honestly this looks so much better it's so much more easier for me to dip in and out of like the colors of what i need i know that i'm going to wear everything as well then here it's all nice and clear because obviously there was boots here before i've got jewelry just kind of like easily displayed um and then in this drawer again i've just got hair stuff which it might not look that tidy but it really is for me so i've got like all my appliances wrapped up i don't know what that's doing out um but yeah then i've got like all bits and bobs hair wise um in here i've just got like bubbles and clips and things that i'm always looking for and um, then shoes again i've gone through all of these and got rid of so many so now i know that again everything in here is kind of shoes that i would go to and wear and then boots at the top, which again, is just so much more practical. Um, then over here, again, we've got bags. This is just so much more easy for me as well to see my bags like this. And then we've got like big bags at the top and then all of these, because before they were front face it and then I couldn't see what was behind. Whereas now again, I can easily pick out bags. In here, we've just got like bras, thongs, um, socks. So again, that's nice and organized. And then on the other side of the room, this isn't the most organised, but this is like the start of spring stuff. So it does probably look a little bare, but again, I don't want unnecessary things out that I'm not going to wear. These are all kind of like wardrobe go-tos that I will go to. I've started, oh God, falling over. I've started getting a few new bits in. I just got this new dress from Zara. I got this one from Zara. I love white in the, um, what's that? I thought it was a mark then. I love white, as you can tell, in the summer. But yeah, I've just started getting a few new bits. So there are my spring summer bits. And then again, tops, as you can see, I've just kind of colour coordinated with black, white, and then I've left shirts here. It doesn't look the most aesthetic, I'd say, but believe me, it's a lot more organised and condensed. And then again, we just have trousers here, which again, I'll try to do like jeans, black, and then all different colours. Um, so yeah, I am happy. And then obviously in these drawers, I've just put like tracksuits, um, active wear. I've just kind of like folded them and just put them on top of each other. I know people do like rolling things, which obviously looks so much more aesthetic. I've tried that, it doesn't work for me. I'd rather just fold and just have them like that because then I know that I can keep on top of that. But anyway, that is my finished wardrobe tidy. I'm feeling so much more just happier clearer and i'm just i just know that i'm going to be able to navigate my wardrobe a lot easier now obviously the next mission is going to be going more in depth and sorting out all my makeup i need to kind of think of like a makeup storage thing because to be fair i don't really even use a lot of makeup so i might even get rid of that and then 
in the cupboard if I can make a space and shelf for like my makeup bag and then in here if I can just merely make drawers for like all my tan stuff or my skincare that'd be nice and organized and uniform too so yeah we're definitely getting there guys um I really hope you have enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and yeah see you all in my next one. Oh, by the way as well don't forget to download karma um like I did say at the beginning all of the information will be in the description bar below but yeah don't miss out on that guys bye bye